Good morning, everyone. Good morning from Asia. Can you hear me loud and clear? If you can hear me, if you can hear me loud and clear, can you help me please type um, number 15, our favorite number here in our kitchen reason. Thank you so much, Coach Catherine Espina. So I, I am very excited about this wonderful event for today. So I hope you are also excited. <laughs> Okay, so our our event for today is expand your network, grow your network. So, hello, <laughs> good morning, and welcome to all of our uh, twelve thousand participants for today. Welcome to our Zoom webinar. It's a blessed Sunday here in Asia, and it's a wonderful night in our our partners and members there in uh, Europe, USA, New Zealand, Canada, and in um, Australia, right? Okay, so before I forget, I want to introduce myself first. My name is Sandra Panto, and I am here in Taiwan. I'm working here, and I'm also doing the Empowered Consumer, Empowered Consumerism full-time uh, part time and full time energy. All right. So before before I introduce our our speaker for today, can you please uh give her the virtual clap because uh this woman is so so amazing. So she is uh she is a uh, uh previous previous OFW from Singapore and she's working there for eight years. She is also a gold executive and she's also a millionaire millionaire mentor itself herself. So before so let me introduce her right now because I'm very excited. So please help me welcome uh coach Jocelyn Kaluen. Hello, coach, are you good here? morning. Yes, I'm here, Coach. Coach Sandra, All thank right. you for that wonderful introduction. Thank you so much. You look beautiful this morning. Thank you. you too. <laughs> yes, thank you, Coach Sandra. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, Philippines. Uh, good evening, USA. Good evening, uh, yes, uh, Africa. Uh, so, how is everyone over there? So I hope I'm clear. Can, can I ask your participation? Can you type, please type 15 when you can hear me loud and clear. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Coach uh, Catherine, for that. Thank you, Coaches. Thank you, Coach Wang. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay, I, I know I am already uh, loud and clear. So, uh, first of all, before I will start my topic, I I want to introduce to you myself and how I joined Empowered Consumerism. I, I am Jocelyn Kalweng. I, I live here in Kalookan City, Philippines, uh, already doing a full-time uh, online marketing. I am uh, 51 years old. I am a single mom. I have uh, three grown-up children and two grandchildren. Okay, so I'm not that so young. <laughs> But still, I'm very, very passionate in doing our business. Okay, and yes, uh, that's true. I, I was an ex OFW, overseas uh, Filipino workers in uh, Singapore. Actually, it's, it's not only in Singapore. I have been working in four countries in Asia. Okay, I work uh, two years in Hong Kong. I also work uh, two years in uh, uh, the Middle East, Doha, Qatar. I also work two years in Brunei, Jerusalem, and 12 uh, years in Singapore. So imagine that I have been working for 18 years away from my family. So um, <clears throat> when you know somebody that is uh, far, far away from your family, one year, two years, or five years, how much more uh, me that I have been away from my family for 18 years. That means that uh, my children, I, I, I don't really know them very well for that long 
time. Okay, so imagine that. Uh, yeah, so um, I, I, I joined Empowered Consumerism through Facebook uh, only. Okay, I have a friend. Uh, actually, I don't know her personally. Okay, she is just my Facebook friend. That time, as uh, I was working in Singapore, and she is uh, also she was also working in Hong Kong as domestic helper. So we are both domestic helper. So uh, initially, she introduced to me uh, empowered consumerism or aim global, but I was very very skeptical. Okay, so if uh, some some of you have joined this business with interest. I was very, very skeptical. Why? It took me two years to say yes to empowered consumerism. Okay, so uh, my Facebook friend, who is already now my uh, coach, my mentor in, in, in doing the business, uh, if, you, if you know her, my direct coach is uh, Juliet Kamanse. She is one of the top earners here in Powered Consumerism. So um, she's very persistent, okay? She's very persistent. She never stopped inviting me so many times okay at first i was very skeptical yes i i I, I told her a lot of excuses okay you know when somebody is not willing to do something you will create a lot of excuses yes uh, sometimes i would say um no i don't like the business i don't have money or i i don't have time to do it which actually i have a lot of time to do it and uh I would say that uh, I, I'm very com comfortable with my job, okay, being a domestic helper. I was lucky for my last employer, a German family, they're very, uh, they're very loving, they treat me as their, uh, as their family. So that time I was very comfortable with my, uh, my job. So I told her, uh, I, I'm very happy with my uh, job, I don't need another uh, source of income. And then uh, that time I was already a fan of Facebook. I really love Facebooking, uh, post here, post there. So it's really already my hobby before I even do online marketing. So I, I, I was already happy doing Facebook. So I said, I, I'm already enjoying Facebook. I don't need to do online marketing or Facebook marketing. <laughs> yeah, but uh, one day, one day, so uh, I, I believe God has also opened my mind, okay? So God knows what is best for me. So one day I said, yes, I, uh, okay. But before that, I have tried searching or uh, investigating about my apply, my direct apply, okay? I did not do so much uh, investigation about the company, although I don't, I don't have any idea what is network marketing, what is AIM Global. I just know that it's just about uh, product, selling product. And I don't know, I don't really understand that it is a network marketing. So what I did, I did a thorough research about my apply. So when I saw that she has a good result, I can see that she, from the beginning, I, I really dig up, dug up his, uh, his profile, looking for his her, her, for her past, past activities in Facebook and for, until that time that I joined the business. So I said, yes, uh, she, uh, I can see she had uh, 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 a result. And I said, when she has a result, I also want to do this and uh, I, I can also do this. Okay, the moment I say yes, after two years of invitation, I, I, I'm already falling in love with empowered consumerism until now. Okay, so uh, what I did, um, I did the business uh, part time. Yeah, because you see, when we are uh, uh, an overseas worker, we have uh, we have an employer, we have a, a house household uh, work, we also have uh, children to take care. So what I do is uh, for the whole week, I would talk to some Facebook friends. Then uh, on Sundays during my day off, I would meet them. 
okay? And uh, it was a very good journey for me in the beginning, okay? Because you see, when you are talking to uh, OFW or o o o o overseas worker, they are very uh, open-minded, okay? They are, they are the people that uh, are really looking for better opportunity. So, uh, I, I, I built my uh, network very fast in Singapore, okay? So that is how I started my journey. I have built my network in Singapore. So uh, that time I, I, I said, I think it's really time for me to, to uh, have my uh, full time in, in network marketing because when you are working for somebody, you cannot have your full time doing the business. And because I'm very passionate in doing the business, I want my full time to do the business. And that time, that was uh, four years ago, uh, African marketing is very, very in demand. You see, the company have shared a very, a uh, very uh, big vision about Africa. And they said that uh, we have to conquer Africa because Africa is the biggest uh, network market that we will have in our business. So I have, I have a curiosity. I mean, it just, it just fell uh, automatically in my heart. I said, I, I love Africa. I love Africa. So I decided to uh, ask permission to my employer that I said, Mom, uh, sir, I think I have to quit my job. And I said, I want to do online marketing in the Philippines. Although they know about my business, they're also very supportive, but I cannot have my 24 hours doing the business. So initially, my boss, because they, they love me so much, they like me to work with them. So they, they tried to to stop me from going home, okay? They, they, they offer me good salary, uh, additional salary, they offer me to bring me to, to Germany because they are German. So because, uh, because I'm very passionate with the business, then I did not accept their proposals. I said, whatever it takes, I have to go back home. So, uh, so they, they have already, in the end, they also have accepted my, my decision. Okay, they said, if, the, if, if we really cannot stop you from uh, this job and you really want this online marketing, then uh, it's okay, uh, we will support you. And, uh, and the most memorable thing that my sir, my sir told me, please don't ever, ever go to Nigeria. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know why. What what his mind? What is his mindset about Nigeria? That that that's the very. Uh, that's the very thing that he told me, you can do African marketing, but please don't ever, ever go to that country, especially Nigeria. So to, to cut the long story short, I said, yes, yes, I would not go to Nigeria. And then uh, I, I came back home. I came back home to the Philippines and I, I was very happy. I said, I can do my business already. <laughs> for 24 hours, I can be uh, very fast in doing the business. But you see, sometimes we are expecting something that we are not uh, in control of, uh, of everything. Okay, so in short, when I came back home, I did not do, I, I did not do the business immediately. Okay, uh, why? When I, when I reached the airport, I, I have a news that my mother was uh, had an accident. Okay, so she had my mother had an accident. She fell from the the uh, uh, long long stairs. She had an injury on her left and right arm. So in short, I cannot do the business. Okay, I have to take care of my mom at the hospital. So I I, I still think the positive way. I said God has the reason for me to decide to come back home to take care of my mom, okay? So that time I was a little bit uh, uh, unhappy because I cannot start my African marketing. But although I have that feeling, I also 
think uh, the positive way that uh, my mother needs me, okay? And by the way, I'm the eldest of the seven uh, family, the family, so I, I will have the big biggest responsibility to the family, okay? So after uh, so many months that uh, my mother is uh, already going to recover, then that's the time that my dad uh, got sick with a very serious illness, okay? We never know that he has a lung cancer, okay? Because I was staying in uh, overseas for so many years, I have no idea that my dad is also very, very sick. So, yeah, so in short, I also need to take care of my father at the hospital until she pa he passed away. So you see, after my mom, it's again my father's responsibility to take care. It's still, I ha have I have taken, taken it the positive way. God had asked me to come back home for a purpose. My family needs me very much, okay? And then uh, after my dad passed away, I said, uh, I can already do my business uh, freely for uh, 24 hours. But another thing happened. My, my first daughter, who, who was married at that time, she said that, mom, I, I want to give birth to a baby already. And I, will, I want you to take care of my baby. Okay. Okay, first of first uh, on that, uh, 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 on the first time that I heard that, I said, wow, I don't know what to say. Okay, that, that time that I already have time to do full blast in the business but uh, my daughter is requesting me to take care of her baby from pregnancy so uh, I cannot do anything it, actually it is also my responsibility to take care of our family so we have we don't we don't need to say no okay I said yes okay I said yes but after uh, one year of taking care of her uh, child, I said, I don't need to stay like this, okay? I have to do something to, to build my network, okay? I, I came back home for a reason that I want to do uh, African marketing, but after uh, quite a long time, I still did not uh, do my, my, uh, my network. So what I did while taking care of the baby is really a very uh, challenging for me because you see when I take care of the baby, she is crying, okay, you have to, to feed him, you have to take care of him, and then I still need to do my network. But I tried my best to do my online network while taking care of the baby. Actually, she, the, the baby is not only one, so she, he is my second grandbaby. Okay, so the, the, the first uh, grandchild is from my second daughter, and the second grandchild is from my first daughter. So, uh, uh, meaning I have been taking for two children. So that would not stop me from doing the business. Then start, I started doing African marketing, and then uh, I can feel that it's really my passion. It's really my heart to be with in Africa. That's the time that I have built a Nigerian market. Okay, you see, I remember that flashback. My uh, boss told me, don't ever, ever go to Nigeria. But you see, the first country that I have built for a big group is Nigeria. You see, so... Uh, I still have a dream, okay? I still have a dream that one day I will be one of the international uh, marketer or trainer in uh, Nigeria and other parts of Africa, okay? Yeah, so uh, that is uh, somehow a short and long <laughs> introduction of myself, okay? So, uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning to the late uh, comers. Yeah, so we are uh, welcome to our uh, topic for today. It's NECO. Okay, so what is NECO? Uh, it's a new empowered consumerism orientation. This is actually uh, especially for new members, okay? Those new members who would want to uh, build net, their network in, uh, in uh, empowered consumerism. But of course, uh, even if we are old already, uh, we still need uh, NECO, okay? Because uh, 
Along the way, we experience a lot of uh, setbacks and struggles. Then we need this uh, NDO, uh, NECO, to uh, pump up or to recharge ourselves to become a very uh, a motivated a leader again. Okay, so uh, are you still there? It uh, uh, seems like everybody is <laughs> is quiet. Okay, can I have your attention, please? Can I have one? Can you please type one if you are still with me while I'm sharing my screen? Okay, Coach Kathleen, thank you. Coach Sandra, thank you. Okay, so I will now um, share my screen okay yeah and uh before i forget uh i want to recognize my guest i have one guest from uh, china he is brother uh, baba welcome to my presentation